Hi everyone, welcome to the Tim Toe channel and this is my take on the JBL by Harman JR300BT. So this is the uh, uh, the JR300 and this is the uh, the one with uh, the Bluetooth uh, version because uh, the JR300 is the uh, the junior uh, edition for uh, headphones for from JBL. Uh, the JR300 uh, was initially released for for kids uh, and it's the wire the, the one with the wire with the uh, uh, 3.5 jack uh, the JR 300 BT is the one um, uh, using Bluetooth okay so this is wireless and uh, it's uh, it sizes for for kids and it would have a uh, specific uh, sound limit so it's safe for the kids ears so that they would not go deaf or um, um, have a, uh, um, be hearing imp uh, impaired due to loud sounds using headsets. Okay, so uh, this is the one with uh, in blue color. Though it's usually uh, they would have two tone. Um, so this one is blue and orange, and um, so from the front. You'd be able to see the uh, the image of the kid, um, and then you would see how the uh, the headset looks like. And it says here on the lower right, um, it's less than 85 dB, and it's for kids three plus and above. Okay, on the side. You'd see uh, the headset with uh, says uh, sticker set included, um, and then on the other side it says that it has a safe volume limit. Um, okay, uh, I'm not sure uh, th what's this airplane logo. Um, uh, basically, I think it could uh, cover or uh which which call this uh be able to protect the the kids ears uh, from very loud sounds like uh, an airplane or a rock band or uh, being able to play loud instruments um something like that and uh, it says a uh, safe volume limit cuz basically this uh, headphones would be uh, even if you increase the volume uh it would stick to a specific uh, level okay so uh, for your media player if even if you maxed it max the volume on on it uh, it would stay at a safe level so it should always be within the uh, less uh, less than 85 DB okay and more of the specifications at the back okay and let's check out what's inside Okay, so initially you would be able to see the uh, the headset. So it has some sort of kids design. Okay, so you could bend that there. There's two buttons as I can see, and uh, I think this would be the instruction manual. Uh, it has uh, the charging cable and the sticker set. So that you could personalize your uh, your your headphones. Okay, so um, I think this is the fad now for for kids' headphones uh, that it would have uh, a specific um, noise level and uh, it would have a sticker set because uh, I have another one for my kid uh, was bought by my wife. Um, it also has uh, a sticker set something like that though the difference is that for that headphones it's a wired one so I we had him um, we purchased this one as this is a wireless okay uh, the the cons that I could see from this one is that um, it could not be used as a wired version as you would all know um, for the adults uh, usually um, 
there would be headsets that could be used for Bluetooth and in case you no longer have battery uh, you could plug in uh, an aux cable for it to be able to connect to your media player uh, but this doesn't have one so though I think uh, it could still be a pro as you could limit your kids listening to, or uh, watching videos using your headset using his headset right uh, you could limit his uh, viewing time and audio time so that he would be able to uh, to do more stuff rather than being with a with a mobile device right because uh, once the bad runs out you could have him just play instead of listening to music or watching videos so um, it's easier to identify uh, looking at the headset uh, it's easier to identify it has a left and right um, uh, label um, okay it's squishy it's nice it's soft uh, the, uh, the paddings are soft especially the ones for the ear though uh, this kind of material this is the ones that um, when it gets too moist or oil from the skin and then it gets dried out uh, after some time this gets uh, uh, peeled off and um, from what I can see here uh, it seems like it's something that could easily be removed by a kid um, so that's another con for it um, okay and charging is here uh, I think uh, they placed it here as a protection so that the kids would not uh, try to insert things in it but I think for me it should be within uh, the bottom part alongside with this one uh, I have tested this one uh, from the store it's easier it's easy to use it's just a power on and once it's on uh, try to scan using your device and uh, it would say the the Bluetooth uh, would um, uh, you would see JBL JR 300 BT and if it if your device does not uh, automatically detect the headset you could press this one this button with the Bluetooth icon just press it so that you would be able to and then do a rescan uh, this is the um, beside the button this is the uh, the indicator light for uh, so that you would be able to see if there's battery okay mm, construction is good and there's uh, level adjustments okay for both sides okay it looks nice though yeah um, the headset doesn't have its own volume uh, properties uh, I think it's due I mean the volume buttons I guess it's due to the fact that uh, this headset sticks to a specific volume level so it doesn't have a, an up and down uh, a plus or minus uh, to the volume though I think they could still have placed uh, uh, a volume uh, rocker for this one though at least the the max would still be less than 85 DB right uh, so that the the kids would just be able to to use that though um, the thing is uh, yeah kids might just play with the uh, the volume buttons or uh, so basically you could control the volume from from your media player still and not from the headset itself the headset would just have the the power and the, the connectivity button um, it doesn't have much um, but um, I've heard from uh, this one it's it's uh, from from an adult perspective the uh, the sound of course it's very uh, it seems to be faint uh, but it might be loud already for the kids as uh, kids would have more sensitive hearing um, I, I, I played some 
um, some audio from some rap artists and I've also played uh, theme songs from from cartoons things like that um, it seems like the of course the sound for me the sound um, uh, is a bit flat okay um, you would be able to, to control the uh, if you have a phone or uh, another mobile device uh, you could still try to control the uh, the amp uh, and uh, the equalizer to make it more balanced but um, due to the, uh, the 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 sound level restriction uh, it doesn't go much uh, with, with how you you uh, want it to to sound like so though um, for me I guess it would be good for kids so that they because uh, sometimes my kid loves to listen to loud music so this would stop him from cranking the volume up to hurt his ear right and another good thing about this is that um it could limit his uh his uh, music time so that it wouldn't hurt his ears too much um the the gripping um the the grip of this it's very light I think it would just fit uh, the kid, um, a child, uh, but not hurt too much. And uh, the padding is very good. Um, it seems uh, it's very comfortable. I have placed this over my head, and it's comfortable. Though uh, um, I haven't uh, have him uh, try this, as this would be a, a birthday gift for him, and. Um, I'm just using this for an unboxing and uh, a bit of a demonstration. Um, so uh, I guess that would be it. Uh, my take on this one, it's good for kids. Uh, it's very nice. It's colorful. Um, it's not really slick design. It's just very simple design. Um, it has a GBL logo uh, on both sides but not on the... Uh, uh, what you call this the strap or the uh, over the head uh, connector and um, it's a good thing it has left and right indicators uh, only two buttons that's a con for me um, it should have at least still a, a volume uh, button and um, this one uh, the uh, the charging port is inside okay um, it's easier if it's on the outer part of the uh, the headphones but I guess that's good so that kids would not be able to put anything in here um, it's uh, pretty decent though for an adult uh, the sound would not be good but for kids I guess it would be great so uh, that was my take on the JR300BT uh, if you like this video, um, please do click on like and uh, subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.